Wake up, stupid. The H1N1 virus or the swine flu grabbing all of the headlines lately. Tonight, the vaccine. Healthcare workers in New York have been ordered to get the vaccine, and that's stirring up a storm in Arizona. Uh, there is opposition to a mandatory shot, and it's spreading on the streets like a virus itself. News Sports' Rebecca Taylor breaking it down, new at 10. A skull and syringe. These homemade signs popping up in Tucson are aimed at supporting first responders who don't want to take the H1N1 vaccine. Ernie Hancock runs the libertarian website Freedoms Phoenix, which launched the campaign, saying, quote, I claim what's in my skin. I will not allow a bureaucrat to force anything to go into my skin without my permission. Well, I don't want anybody to be frightened by the signs. Adamant the vaccine is safe, Patty Woodcock with the Pima County Health Department says, unlike New York, she doesn't foresee required shots here. But as far as mandating it, no, I don't see that happening. We are encouraging everyone to get their seasonal vaccine and the H1N1 vaccine when it becomes available. News 4 also contacted local fire departments. Neither Tucson or Northwest will require first responders to get the swine flu vaccine, although so far three dozen Northwest firefighters have come forward voluntarily requesting it. The shipment is expected to arrive late next week, and although regular flu shots are not required either, 80% of Northwest first responders have been voluntarily vaccinated. Tucsonans have mixed reactions. Do you think it should be a requirement here in Arizona? Yes, definitely. Why is that? Because the people who care for sick people and who are around sick people all the time need to be immunized against the swine flu so they don't give it to other people. No, no. That's, a, again, that's a Big Brother telling you what to do with your life. Until Freedom's Phoenix gets it in writing that first responders in Arizona won't be mandated to get the shot, Hancock says these signs will continue to go up around town. Some are already up. You'll find more scattered around town in the coming days. Homemade signs like this one, part of a campaign against mandatory flu shots. The sign campaign is to demonstrate support for these first responders that do not want to take this vaccine. Scene. Ernie Hancock runs the libertarian website Freedoms Phoenix. He launched the sign campaign in response to mandatory flu shots for state health care workers in New York and concern over it happening in Arizona. I don't even get into whether I would even personally take the vaccine or not. It's not even the point that they would coerce an American into taking this vaccine. That's where I have a problem. Spokespersons for both Phoenix police and fire said first responders in their respective departments would not have to take the swine flu vaccine if they don't want to. I don't like it. But people like Rayfield Wright think they should. You come in contact with it and you have it and you don't know you have it. By not taking the shot, then you will be putting the public at risk. Freedom's Phoenix wants written assurances first responders won't be required to get flu shots. And we're going to re resist any effort to make an individual American take an elixir and put it into their body against their will. Until they get an assurance, Hancock says hundreds of these signs will go up in Phoenix and Tucson.